Okay, we're going to walk through adding a post to your news section. Your news section on the site is under news, and it's basically a blogging type atmosphere where uh, the most recent posts are up at the top and works its way backwards down the page. So we're going to go into our dashboard. We're already logged in. And you'll see post on the left hand side. If you click it, you'll get a list of all the posts that have already been created. If you want to edit one of these, you would just click on that particular post and it'll take you to a new page where you can edit the content. But in this case, we want to add a new post. So underneath post, we have the sub category or navigation of add new. Click add new. At the top text field here you're going to enter your title for the post. In the main editing area which you'll see is the larger box within the window and you can tra drag this to make it longer or wider so you can see more of the content you're going to add your main content here. Um, you can also format this content by using the tools in the toolbar, which is located above the content area. So we can make it bold. You can also um, add this as a link. You would click the little chain button. And if you scroll over any of these little icons, it'll come up with a title or telling you what the actual button does. So we could make this a link, and we'll just link it to my site. And you click Insert, and that becomes a link. Now you'll notice here that the text is not in the Helvetica font that we're using on the site. The font type here I believe they're using is um, Georgia or Times but once it actually goes live on the site it will render as Helvetica and that's controlled through external style sheets that control the entire site so don't worry too much about the way the font looks here it will uh, appear correctly once it's actually published to the site so we could add some more content more content there and also you could um, underline this and do other various formatting options. If we want to add an image to this post, we're going to come up here under next to upload and insert and there is a square with a border around it and as you scroll over it, it'll uh, a little title tag will appear and it'll say add an image. Click add an image and it'll bring up a pop-up window where you can select the file to upload and insert into this post. So we'll click select files and we'll just grab one uh, file here and click select and the file will be uploaded and it'll give you just a little image here but that's not the actual image that will appear in the post you can add a caption uh, you could also add a description if you want and link URL don't worry about that's basically will be populated once you click insert to post alignment you can align this none which would be it would default to the left or you can do left center or right and basically if you click left or right the text will wrap around that image to left or to the right uh, the size full size is 1078 by 490 you don't want to go that big you want to stick with large medium or thumbnail large it means that it will fit within your window space that is provided on the site so we have large selected, we have center, everything looks good. And once it all looks good, you're going to click insert into post. 
and it'll insert that image into the post. And you'll see that we have our little caption there as well. So we have an image, we've added some content to the post. Excerpt, do not worry about an excerpt. They don't appear on the site. In some configurations, you can have an excerpt. Um, also, there's send trackbacks. Don't worry about that. Custom fields is something not to worry about. And discussion, don't worry about discussion. If we come up to the right-hand side, we can see that we under publish, we have save draft, preview, and then publish. If you just want to save the draft and come back and publish it later after you've done some more editing, click Save Draft and then you can close out the window. If you do not click Save Draft or Publish, any content that will be lost if you close out the window without hitting one of those two buttons. Post tags are basically keywords about your post. So this could be about photography. So that would be a keyword and click Add. This could be about Sierra Nevada as well and click add. Under categories you're just going to select news that's the default category and that's the category that we're going to be using for all posts. After everything looks good and you're ready to go you're going to click publish. Give it a moment to publish and it'll publish to the site. If you want to immediately look at the post right click view post or click control on a Mac and click and you can say open link in new window and it'll show you the post that you just made you can also click go back now and make some changes so we'll take out add some text and we'll take out the image and we'll delete the whole thing and we'll click update post and now we'll go check it again we'll click right click on view post open link in new window and now we'll see that all we have is add your main content here is a link and the image and the other text is gone so you probably want to work in a platform where you can go back and forth between editing and checking the site Another way to do this is we had both tabs open, so if we click on News, and we're on News, and you click Reload, then you'll see the latest post right there at the top. So basically that's adding a post and editing a post. Editing posts, you would click on Posts, select the post you'd like to edit, make your changes like we did before, once you've made all your changes, click Update Post, and it'll update to the site.